So we've done a couple of very large uh, cha uh, chapters now. The two lessons we've just finished were looking at really advanced 3D models in WYSIWYG. Um, we're now going to just cover something really quickly, which is how to use some of the wizard tools. There's a drapes tool that I really want to show you, and it'll be a nice introduction to how the wizards work. It's a really interesting feature of WYSIWYG that allows you to create quite complicated objects just using parametric data by inserting them into a field. So very quickly, I'm going to introduce you to the, um, the drape wizard tool. There's a few wizards. There's a screen wizard, an LED wizard um, up here. There's other wizards that you come to, like if you're trying to create gobos. So there's a, a gobo wizard that help you create your own gobos. We'll cover some of those um, in later chapters. But if I show you the drape wizard, it'll just give you a flavor for how they work. The idea is that if you click on drape wizard, um, you can choose to draw or specify uh, through parametric data exactly what the size of the drapes are. I'm going to choose to draw it. Click next. I'm going to type in uh, create a new drape line. Um, or I can add it to an existing drape line by just typing in some data. So I'm going to click finish. I'm going to pick my drape corner. So it's going to go from this corner here to this one. Oh, turn off the orthograph mode, put on X so it goes in that direction. That's my next drape corner. And I might just decide to go around the corner there. It's come all the way down. Let's just do that. It's two sides. And then I'm going to right click, finish, pipe and drape. And there we go. It's built us drapes. Now, if you look at that model, you see it's even put in all this beautiful um, scaffolding and pipe work to hold it all up. So it all looks very pretty. It looks like you might use in a conference center. It's actually been designed for um, for events works, comes up with the Vivian package. If I right click and go to properties, oh, no, I've got to make sure it's selected. Right click, properties, we can edit it. So some of those features that we saw earlier, the, um, the options, uh, we could have changed beforehand, but we can also change them afterwards. So I've got Drake back, Drake base plate, crossbar, front loops, uprights, the line on the surface we can relatively ignore. So we can change individual textures and colors. So uh, let's look at the drape front. There's a drape black texture that's in the library. If we click on the library features, or we, we looked at images earlier, that's where we bring in our own images, but the library is something that's built inside WYSIWYG. It's a massive library of textures you might want. Um, drape black is quite standard, but you might want a nice burgundy one. So we're going to choose that, select, click apply. And now as it gone to the other side, let's do the back as well. Make that a nice, let's try a different color. Let's go for blue, select, apply. Uh, it has done it. We can just about see it because there's not, not enough light on stage. If I right click, and go to um, view options, simulation, and we can turn up the ambient lights. You can see a little bit more. A little bit more. If you shine a spotlight on that, it will come up very clearly. But you can see that it's blue. And you come up this front, it's red. There you go. So we can make changes there. Um, if we come across to uh, the tab along the end, along the end of that window. So we right click properties. You see, we do that feature quite a lot. Right click properties is very, very common way of working in WYSIWYG. Let's go across the pipe and drapes. In here, we can change some of those details. So we uh, we didn't set the height when we were making it. We had the option to, but I chose to draw straight away. But I'm going to make this maybe three meters high. Uh, the diameter is the diameter of the uprights. Um, we can give it a description if we want to. We can change the shape of how it looks in the 3D model. So sort in the 2D plan. So here it looks quite straight. But we could make it semicircles. Just changes how it looks. Click apply. So you see now that's changed around the outside and it's gone a bit lower. So it's lower there. And now we've got little semicircles to show us where it goes. So that's the drape tool. Now the Churchill Theatre does actually have drapes around the outside. It's quite useful, but actually I don't, don't need to see that in there. So I'm going to delete it out. But I just wanted to demonstrate to you how the wizards work. It's quite handy because it will tell you, it will ask you questions, you answer the questions and it will create you the 3D object. So it's a nice part of WYSIWYG is that sometimes it just helps you not have to think.